What's up, everybody? Thanks for being here. This is the Tend Kickstarter. You made it. Yeah. Well, uh, Tend is a flip and write board game for one to six plus players. It's a farming game. You're going to be chopping and mining and fishing and planting and harvesting, uh, collecting a bunch of goods and putting it into your cargo manifest, which will score you points at the end of the game. Yeah, it's a flip and write, but there's also scratching and stamping and ticking and rolling. You got it. And no sniffing. No sniffing. What's your favorite part? So my favorite part, and it's hard to choose, these scratch off cards. This game has scratch offs. Well, on your turn, you might uh, go in the woods, scratch something off of the mines. These cards are completely randomized, so it actually feels like I'm exploring the mines and the woods of this alien planet. You get a good, and then, I don't know, you might sell it, you might put it in your cargo manifest. It's very satisfying. And if you ever run out, we have made a little companion app yeah. that uh, lets you essentially have infinite versions of this mining card. So between that and printable PDFs, uh, we got you covered. You can play this game infinitely. What do you got? My favorite part is the markers. They have a writing side, and you can use any of the colors for that, but more importantly, they have a stamping side, and the stamping side can be used to fill your cargo manifest. You don't have to worry about drawing shapes or being legible at all. I'm terrible at that in games like Photographers that I love, and so this just lets me stamp the things in that I need to be able to show. We're gonna tell you more about Tend uh, at the end of this video, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what we got going on on this campaign. So. You're here, and we appreciate that. We love our Kickstarter backers, so we always wanna make sure it is worthwhile for you being the first people to ever buy this game. So, we have got three pledges for you. We got a, the Tend, we got the Deluxe, and the Super Deluxe. The Tend is a smaller box. The Deluxe and the Super Deluxe, they come with markers, they come with a mat, mm -hmm. and they're a little bit bigger boxes, so you can hold all this extra stuff. There is also, a lot of extra bonus sheets that we are including kind of as a, a free gift to people who are backing this campaign. Yeah, so every game normally would come with 100 sheets. Mm -hmm. The base game comes with 50 extra sheets and the two deluxe versions come with 100 extra sheets. So it's literally double the plays in those versions. Yeah, and it's not just sheets. You also get those extra the scratch, -off uh, scratch -off cards. Off cards and the two main sheets. You get a ton of bonus content. The other thing that's very cool is this Super Deluxe Edition. Oh man. It has a hollow box, it's got a hollow card pack in it, and you can play with more friends. Yeah. Assuming you have more <laughs> friends. Zach loves the hollow stuff. I'm way more excited about the more friends part because it's six more players built into the box. There's enough die and enough cards and enough scratching coins to cover six more people. And you might be wondering, how in the world am I gonna play with six more people? Well, True. we also, this is just completely free, there's a 10 companion app that lets you, you throw up all the information that you need to play the game on a bunch of TVs in your house. Yeah, uh, we play with 18 people here on two TVs, yes. and the best part of that for me is it's seated. So on those two TVs, we just typed in the same seed, and we could play the same game at the same time. Now what's amazing about that, it's also a time machine. So if I play a game right now, 20 years from now, someone could type in that same seed and try to beat my high score. And so it makes solo go solo mode so much more exciting because I'm not just trying to beat my score, I'm trying to beat anyone that's played that same seed. Another big reason to back now is that there's a community card pack. Yes, and more stuff. More stuff. Uh, the community card pack is actually made by you. You're gonna get to submit ideas to us, we're gonna pick our favorites, and then everyone will vote on which cards make it into the pack. Those are gonna be new task cards and new objective cards, and the number in that pack will grow depending on how well we do on the stretch goals. Yes, which brings us to the stretch goals. So. You're excited about this? I'm very excited about this. So yes, you can unlock new community cards. You can also unlock a discount on the Tend jacket, which yep. is very stylish and fun. And then the big one at the end of the stretch goal track is the 10 comic. So if we unlock that, we yeah. make a new comic illustrated by Kelly who illustrated all the stuff in this game. And that will come in every one of these boxes. How do we unlock the stretch goals? Because I want the comic. The community farm. So we have made this very fun community activity. Go to community-farm.ivy.studio. All the directions will be there, but essentially there's this big plot of land. There's a bunch of grid. We're gonna explore, we're gonna mine, we're gonna fish, we're gonna plant, we're gonna harvest. And we're all working in this big plot of land together. All the instructions are there, but basically you're gonna be copying these commands, pasting them onto Kickstarter as mm -hmm. comments or onto Discord as comments and in the channel. And maybe BB and maybe BGG if we can get that figured out. Yes. I still have to do that. But yeah, uh, come join us. It's really easy to get involved in that. All you have to do is either join our Discord or just comment on Kickstarter and you can join in on this very fun tending activity. And with that, here are some very good looking gentlemen who are going to tell you a little bit more about tend.
What's up, everybody? We are here to talk about Tend. We are. A new flip and write board game for one to six plus, plus. players. And it's coming to Kickstarter on October 29th. In Tend, you will tend your crops and animals. You will explore the mines and the woods. And you might even go fishing. Do you like fishing? I like fish. I I like, like fishing. I don't like fish. They're my friends. Oh, right, right. Yes, yes. yes. Fish be... are friends, not, not food. food. <laughs> Tend really has everything you want in the classic farming and alien world genre. Is that a classic genre? To me, it is. <laughs> oh, man. So, Zach, what is a flippin' right? Well, Tend is a flip and write. Tend is. So you flip some cards and you write some stuff. You may have heard of the roll and write, where you roll dice and, and then you write. write. It's a very fun genre. This is kind of our take on it. It's a flip and write, but it's also a roll and write and a stamp and write and a scratch and write. Don't sniff. And not a sniff and write. Did I miss any of the things you do stamp. before you write? I said stamp. I don't think you did. I don't know. It is all those things. So you've been sent by the Zenith Corporation to mm -hmm. cultivate life on this planet and load up your cargo manifest with whatever you are able to harvest or fish or mine. In return, or they give you some Zenith points. They give you some Zenith points. Yeah. You need Zenith points to win the game. So to do this, you will be doing lots of different things around your homestead. One being planting and harvesting crops. Yep. So we've got uh, a bunch of dice here. You will till the soil on your, yep. your little farm area. You'll plant uh, these crops as dice, and then between turns, you'll take them up, and when you see a white face, you'll harvest the crop. Yeah, uh, and then you can put it in your cargo manifest, or you can sell it for coins, which you're gonna need in the early game. Yeah. My favorite part, though, is going mining and cultivating forests, because that involves scratching off squares yes. on a card. Yes, there are scratch-offs in this game. And I, I steal these cards to take them home to scratch them off. It is, it is so fun, but you're yeah, gonna get that. better stuff as you go down into the woods and the mines, and it's a really fun exploration moment in the game. My favorite part are the badges. Really? So, you like yeah. collecting stuff? So yeah, collecting stuff, it's very satisfying to check them off. Yeah, and, and it's hard collect sometimes. A badge. You also get points at the end of the game for badges that you complete, but it's a really fun, like, like kind of set collection. You're going around, I'm just like, can I catch all the fish? Can I uh, harvest all the different crops? Yep. Very satisfying. Well, most people I think are gonna really love going fishing. Every because... game should have a fishing mini game. Yep. Uh, Ours, you roll some dice. Ours has a fishing mini game. You roll dice. Oh, I got a wild. And so this roll is gonna show you a place on a grid where you can catch a fish. Now, if there's not a very good fish there or there's no fish there, that would really suck. But you can upgrade your rods and your lures in order to have a wider catch area and even catch additional fish per cast, so. There's also unlockable other fishing locations. Yeah, cool. super fun. Then the last thing, uh, something that Austin is very bad at, is being a friendly neighbor. <laughs> So you'll get neighbor cards, which have what your neighbor is looking for. And if you're like me, you will go try and find that and give them to your neighbor. If you're like Austin, you won't do that. Be selfish. Each turn, you'll choose two tasks and get to work. What I really love in this game is over time, you're gonna start chaining together these massive turns. I'm gonna fish, and because I've unlocked something, I'm gonna get an extra fish or get to take an additional action. And by the end of the game, I'm doing all this stuff, and I feel really, really powerful. Yeah, and part of that is you can upgrade all of your tools. If you're able to upgrade them, you get to just do more. Every time you go fishing, you get to catch two fish, or every time you go to the mines, you get to scratch off two spaces. So the game can really build on itself and becomes this this really nice kind of satisfying puzzle to solve every turn. As you're getting more and more goods, there's a whole other puzzle of trying to fit them into your cargo manifest. Because every good is a different size polyomino and color, and you have to figure out how to puzzle those all in there to get the most points possible. And what's great, that's where these stamp markers come in. When you get a good, you look for the shape, and then you stamp it up in your cargo manifest and try and fill that up for as many points as possible. And you don't have to have the markers. You can just write in, but I mean, it's fun to have the markers. Another great thing about Tent is it is simultaneous play, and so it plays really, really great solo, and it also might be our best large player count game to date. Everyone's taking their turns all at the same time, so it really functions very similarly at one players as it does at 17 yeah. players, which we just had a in Tend party with 17 people, and yeah. it worked really well. And part of that was because of the Tend Companion app. Yeah. So we've, we've made this, essentially this web app that replicates everything that you see on the task card and season objective area. That way you can throw that up on a TV or a bunch of TVs around your house and then everyone can play the same game. Or you can even play with someone else in a totally different location because mm -hmm. you yeah. can both be using the same seed of the app. So one thing you might be thinking, there's a lot of paper in this game. There's markers. some markers or some scratch-offs. What happens if I run out of paper or run out of scratch-offs? Yeah, first off, you probably won't. You probably won't. You'd have to play a lot of times to run out. 
I think we're still working on quantities, but I think that we will give you enough to play this game and more than I personally have played any board game. Except for the ones you've made. M maybe even <laughs> that. But if you do run out. Yes, we have some solutions. Yes. First of all, PDFs. You'll be able to print out all of the sheets on this game. That solves that. If you run out of scratch off cards, I have just finished up the Mine and Forest web app. You can go to a website, which we'll put in the link of this video. And yeah, it replicates that entire feature you can have on your phone if you ever run out of scratch, scratch off cards. And while I love the markers, they are not necessary to play. You could easily use just a pencil and draw the shape, or even use a colored pencil and, and mark it up, but I will, I will never put it up. They're amazing. And we've really invested in making these markers really, really good, high quality, and lots of ink. Also, if you run out, you can still buy more. Uh, but also, in the words of a famous philosopher, the thing is not beautiful because it lasts. I think you saw that in a Marvel film. Hey, that guy. <laughs> was forged by an infinity stone. Were you forged by an infinity stone? No, no, no he knows what he's talking about. Anyways. What were we talking about? 10. <laughs> oh. It's coming to Kickstarter on October 29th. In the lead up, watch out for your favorite content creators. Austin sent out about 200,000 <laughs> copies of this game. It was 75. That's basically the same. Basically. There's gonna be a bunch of content creators that are posting what they thought of the, the game, some unboxings, all that good stuff. Go to your favorite channels, check it out. That'll be posting, I think, right around launch day. Yeah. Uh, and we've, if you're curious what it's like to be a content creator, we've actually posted what we send out to content creators in the description below. You see all the info that they get and kind of our instructions to them. Can you remind me to delete my phone number out of that before we send it? I I will add your phone number. Before That's we not send what I said. It. I said delete, delete it. All right, 10. We are really excited about it. Really fun things planned for the campaign. So please come along. Uh, we'll see you. October 29th. Kickstarter.